I'm going to show you how to use Unreal Engine's PCG graph to create statues with birds on them <laughs> and bird poop. For this tutorial, you'll need a couple of plugins. You can get them from Editor Plugins, and you will need the Procedural Content Generation Framework as well as the Geometry Script. I'm also using a Roman statue from Quixel Bridge, as well as a damaged plaster patches decal. Lastly, I'm using the Animal Variety Pack from Protofactor Inc. for the birds. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is create a basic PCG graph. I'm not going to open it yet. PCG statue. Then I'm going to create a blueprint. I'm spawning this. Uh, statue, this PCG via a blueprint, uh, that allows me a little more control over what I'm doing. And then I could place the blueprint later if I feel like it, but uh, this will let me just spawn a single statue, which is exactly what I want. Open it up. Add a PCG component. And select that PCG that we created. Compile, save, done with that. I can drag it into the level and open up the PCG graph. I'm not going to use the input node. I'm going to use a, a get actor data node. And it's pointed at self because we're using a blueprint. It'll pull the data from the blueprint. Next, I will add a static mesh spawner. Select the statue, going under Mesh Entry, opening up Index, Descriptor, and selecting the statue. And if I look at that, we've got a statue. Next, I'm going to set up the bounds so that it uh, perfectly encapsulates the statue. To do that, there's a little trick. You can go into the statue, Static Mesh, and look at it. And I see the approximate size is 75 by 78 by 165. So I'll set the bounds to 80 by 80 by 170, so it's uh, just around the mesh. So to do that, I'll use a bounds modifier. And I'm going to set it to set instead of scale. And I want it 80 by 80, so negative 40 to 40 negative 40 to 40. Uh, the bounds min and max, though, that starts at uh, the z-axis starts at the ground, so I'm going to set it from 0 to 170. And now if I plug this in, select it all, hit Q, and let me debug this spawner so we see what we've got. There we go. There's a box perfectly around the static mesh. Let me turn off debug here, and I'm going to add a comment and call this uh, a spawn statue. All right, next thing I need is to create some points that we can use for the birds and poop. I'm going to use a mesh sampler node. If you don't see this, you probably didn't install the geometry plugin, so uh, you should go back and do that now. From the statue. So this, if I debug it, is sampling the mesh, but it's not sampling the mesh at the current location in the world. It's sampling it at, uh, I believe this is 0, 0. So I need to move this over to here. To do that, I'm going to use a copy points node. The source is going to be the mesh that I just sampled here, and the target is going to be the static mesh. Now if I debug this, we should see, there we go, the points have moved on over. Next, I'm going to restrict these points to only spawn at the shoulders or above on the statue because I don't want these birds to be sitting on the base or uh, at the edge of it. I want them to just be resting on the shoulders. To do that, I can add a point filter. Drag the end of the copy points. For the filter, I'm going to create an attribute because I'm going to be having to modify this a bit later. Uh, the name, I'm going to call it Z filter. The type, float. And the default value, 
Uh, if you remember, the statue was 165 units tall, so I'm going to set the Z filter to 150 units. Now I need to point the point filter at what I'm using. So target attributes is going to be the height of the statue, so I'll select position and append.z to grab the z-axis threshold attribute. I'm going to use z-filter. And now previewing it won't show me anything yet because the filter doesn't know if it's using the inside or outside of the filter, so it's showing me everything. So I'll just start off with that transform points node just to allow me to preview this node. And there we go. So I need to fix a couple things with this for it to work in every situation. The first thing is if I scale this statue, let's make it double size, it's still at this 150 height, but since the statue has doubled in size, it should actually be at 300. So I need to multiply this 150 by the scale of the statue. Uh, I'll, I'll do the scale Z because if you stretch it like this, you want it to still scale properly. So uh, I can do a maths op node. Attribute maths op is the name of the node. Drag the in B to this Z filter, and A will be the static mesh spawner. And I'm going to change it over to multiply. Input source 1 is going to be scale.z. I can select scale from the dropdown to get the exact wording, and period Z. Input source 2 will be Z filter. Output target, also Z filter. Now if I connect this up to the point filter, it should be working. There we go. So the next thing I need to fix is if you drag the statue up and down, let's drag it up by uh, 100. Well, it's still at that 300 level, but it needs to be 400 since the statue base is 100 off the ground. So I need to offset by this difference between the ground and the base of the statue. So if I inspect the static mesh spawner and select the debug object, if I look here, the position Z is 100. I just need to add position Z to this uh, Z filter and it'll work. So let me drag this over a little bit, add another maths node, maths op. I'll hold control to drag this link over and connect the in A up to the static mesh spawner. And for the input source one, I'm going to use position.z, input source two, Z filter, and output target, also Z filter. Connect that all up and there we go. It's looking good. It keeps its uh, height no matter the scale. Excellent. Next, I'm going to uh, restrict these points from spawning on too steep of surfaces because birds like to perch on flat surfaces, not steep surfaces a lot of the time, at least the birds that I'm looking at. So, I'm going to delete this transform points node and change it to a normal to density. That'll allow me to basically find the rotation of the surface they're on and set the density from 0 to 1. So if I look at this, you see the steep surfaces are black, that's 0. The, the flat surfaces are lighter, that's closer towards 1. And then I just have to add a density filter. I'm going to go back here and uh, organize this stuff a little bit. I'll call this restrict birds from below shoulders. All right, so the density filter, let's set it at uh, 0.9 and see how we're doing. And there we go. Birds aren't on the steep surfaces anymore. I like that one can be in that little nook right there, potentially. Now let's uh, go ahead and do a... Uh, I can't actually do a static mesh spawner because the bird is a um, not a static mesh. It's a skeletal mesh. So I'm going to use a spawn actor. And for this to work, I have to create a blueprint. So let me do that now. I'm going to create a new folder for the crow and add a 
blueprint class. Let's make it a pawn just in case I want this crow to move. Open it up. Add a skeletal mesh component. And I'm going to go ahead and select the crow. Now let me go ahead and for the template class, bp underscore crow. And now if I take a look at the statue, uh, I'm not seeing anything because uh, this option is set to collapse actors. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I found that no merging allows these crows to spawn, and that's uh, a few too many crows. I need to set the bounds modifier and maybe do a pruning node to restrict this amount. So let me add in a bounds modifier in here. And a self pruning. Bounds modifier, uh, let's set it to set. And I'm going to start with negative uh, 5 to 5 as the crow's width. Negative 5 to 5 is the length. Uh, let's change that negative 10 to 10. And 0 to 25 as the height. Uh, crows are less wide than they are long and tall. And now let's debug this. And uh, it's, it's looking decent. Let's make them a little longer and uh, more forward, but the, the width is looking okay. So a little longer, negative 15 to 15. And there. All right, I'm happy with that. Uh, so these crows are a little too big. They're actually scaling with the size of the statue. And that's not right. I want them to stay at crow size, so I can use a transform node. Let's uh, put it right after the bounds modifier. Transform points. All right, so the transform points, I'm going to set the scale min and max to 1, and I'm going to make it absolute. That'll set them to 1 regardless of the size of everything else. And there we go. So that's, that's looking like some good crows right there. Now I can go ahead and work on the poop. Let me just copy all of these, except for the normal density. I can reuse that. Paste. And I'll go ahead and add a comment, spawn crows. This one is going to be spawn poop. Now, I can't use the same actor crow, because uh, that's for the crows. Instead, I'm going to go to the content drawer and up a level, and let's make a new folder, call it poop. <laughs> and this one, blueprint class, I'm going to spawn decals here. So I don't want to just use the actor, pawn, or character. I'm going to search all classes for decal. And this will give me a few uh, better default settings. So bp underscore poop. And if I open that up right over here, you can see that there's already an arrow in here and sprite component, everything is created. Under the decal, I'm going to select the decal material. Um, this one is called plaster, I believe. There we go, damaged plaster. Compile and save. And I'm done with that. Back in the statue, I'm going to select the poop. And I'll hook this up here, and let's just see what we're looking at. Whoa, he got some poop. Uh, so it's right now getting on the birds, and that's not very good looking. So I'm going to go back into the crow blueprint. Under the skeletal mesh, I'm going to search for decal, and uncheck receives decals. And there we go. Now the poop is all underneath the crows. Uh, the size of this is a little too big, so I'm going to shrink that a little bit. and transform points. I want 0.06 to 0.3. That's going to be a little, little better sized. 
Next, I'm going to drag this on over and create another statue and shrink it on down so I can double check how it looks at smaller size. So let's just set it to scale 1.5. So I can't really see what's going on here, so I'm going to actually go ahead and turn off all of these uh, sprite images. So I can go to Show, Sprites, and I'll just hide them all. And got some poop, it's kind of scattered around. One thing I'm going to do, you see these black spots are because the decal is rotating a little weirdly. So I can go back under the PCG statue and in this transform points, I will check absolute rotation, but I still want them to look a little different. So I'll uh, let them rotate zero to 360 on the Z axis. And there we go, that's helped a little bit. Poop looks a little random. Still black in some cases. Let me turn off these bounding boxes. Let's make a massive statue. Still got little bits of poop on it, and it's looking okay to me. I'm going to change this to small to large, so we get the smaller bits first and then the large ones last. That looks a little, little better to me. Now, two more things. I want these crows to animate. Right now they're just standing here and look not very good. So I'll, I'll make a little really basic animation. Animation blueprint, abp underscore crow for the name, open it up. And for the pose, I'll just search for an idle animation. Uh, let's see, look around, scratch wing, stretch wings. Let's go for a look around, drag it in there, compile and take a look at it. And I need to make it looping, otherwise they're just going to look around once and stop. And if I compile that, look around, and they look around again. File save, close that, open up the crow again. And under the skeletal mesh, I'm going to add the animation blueprint, NM class, ABP underscore crow. File and save. And if I check it out now, they're all looking around. They look a little creepy since they're identical, but I'm okay with that for now. Lastly, I want this statue to be actually uh, statue colored. So I can go into the statue. I'm just going to go to the static mesh spawner and find this little statue mesh entry. Find the statue, and I'm going to change the material instance. Now I can change this material instance to make it look uh, more, more shiny and statue-like. So I'll start with uh, metallic. I will set the metallic map overwrite to zero and base metallic to one. That makes it a little, little more metallic. I can set the max and min roughness to 0.6 to, let's say 0.2, that's starting to look shiny. And let's see, albedo tint. I'm going to make this look uh, kind of, uh, that looks that looks decent, maybe make it a little darker. Starting to look kind of bronze. There we go. We got a statue, we got birds on it. And if we hit play, the birds are pecking around and being all weird and bird-like. <laughs> so, so there's how you make a statue with bird poop on it. You are welcome.